<laughs> we are at Dr. Sibthorpe's clinic for a Botox session with one of our readers. Dr. Sibthorpe is one of London's leading cosmetic practitioners. He's been featured in Tatler magazine and he his approach is very much less is more. So the idea is you can still move your face, you still look natural, you just look well and, and really he's the man to see. Um, I'm having Botox for the first time and I'm really excited um, and I've wanted it done for ages so that's what we're here for today. I've got what I see as crevices. A lot of people say they can't see it but that's what people say. Um, here in my frowns, I must frown a lot, although I don't have myself down as a frowner. Um, and I've wanted it done for a really long time, so now's just the right time to do it. Mm, I'm quite nervous. I'm quite nervous. And I um, have promised my boyfriend from the start of our relationship that I would never get Botox. That's probably the thing I'm most nervous about. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Have you told him? Nope. Do you want this closed? I think it's relaxed. Oh, yeah. it's fine. Yeah, no, no, it has, I think it's good. It makes it like a bob man. Alright. Um, <laughs> get some patient doctor. Do we want the coffee? <coughs> Coffee's fine. Yeah, coffee's, coffee's fine. Good. It's totally relaxed. So, Dr. Sibthorpe, when is the right time for somebody to consider having Botox? Uh, the right time to do Botox. Is it an age thing or a skin thing? It depends, actually, it, it varies. It can be, you can be 25, you can be 35. It just depends how you what sort of stress you've had in life and, where, and your genetics and how you've aged over that period. Okay. So it's and really when the lines start to appear, that's the, that's the time to do it. And is it a preventative thing? Like, is it good to start young so that um, later on you don't need as much? Is there any... So it's good to start um, when the lines start to appear, so um, that you'll pre it's a preventative treatment, so you're preventing the wrinkles from occurring, from okay. forming. Okay. Obviously, if you leave it later, you have ingrained lines, which we call static lines, and they're more difficult to get rid of. Okay. For someone who hasn't had Botox before, what can you expect? Do the wrinkles just all go? So, wrinkles will diminish, and I think the trick is to make the procedure natural, mm -hmm. to have the treatment that looks natural. So we don't want to freeze the face, but we do want to soften the lines. Mm -hmm. Because I always think the worst Botox is the shiny forehead that doesn't yes. move or the overarched eyebrows. Yeah. How do you avoid that just by putting less in? Again, a less is more approach. So yes, you've got that frozen look or that uh, rabbit in the, in the headlight look. Yeah. But that's easy to avoid again if you just approach this with a very cautious uh, treatment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you talked about the size of the needle. Does it hurt? No. They, since I started, the needle has come down three or four sizes, uh, so they're very fine. Okay. They're actually finer than acupuncture needles. Uh, and how often do you need to repeat the treatment? So, uh, the, the treatment will last three to four months typically, so that's how often you repeat it. Having said that, after several treatments, usually it lasts longer. Okay. So I have a few patients that may come in twice a year or I've got even a few uh, that come in every nine months. And here I am asking questions like I don't know the answers, but clearly <laughs> I've had Botox, I think it's brilliant. <laughs> anyway, this is a good moment to introduce Nikki. Is this something you wanted to do for a while? Yes, I have wanted to do this for quite a long time. I've got um, here, I hate this line here, mm -hmm. um, and that's really the only bit that I would want looked at. I don't mind the rest of it. I think lines are quite beautiful on a woman's face, but this crevice here is not beautiful. So, so that's quite common. I mean, when, when you see these uh, tram lines, as they call yeah. them, and uh, so that's uh, a common, that's probably the, the number one area for Botox treats. Okay. And the other reason also is that um, as we get older, our brows tend to become heavier. They drop. Uh -huh. It's called a brow ptosis. So by treating this area as well, you get a slight elevation of the brows, which again opens up the eyes and makes them makes you look a little bit more youthful. Um, and how old are you, Nikki? Oh, really? Yeah, you got to come down on it. I'm I'm 34 tomorrow. Okay. So that's a typical age. Yeah. For patients that come. Figure it's the right time. Yeah, it's around the, the right time, mid 30s. Yeah. yeah. And any concerns? So you talked about that line, but any concerns about having the actual treatment? Yeah, I've got two big concerns. I'm going out tonight, mm -hmm. which I'm slightly worried about. 
I've said to, I've told her not to worry. Shall we just fine? Mm. There is no, nothing to worry about. Okay, fab. And um, I haven't told my partner, and I'm concerned. So that's again a typical question I get. I mean, I see a lot of that's that's not unusual. I actually have a lot of patients that I've been treating for years, and their husbands don't know. Really? And they've told me that if they ever found out, they would get divorced. Yes. So the oh, trick again is to make it very natural. He, okay. He's not even going to notice. My so. husband said to me once. He said, "I'm not going to ask what you've had done." He's like, "I'd rather not know, but it does look good, whatever it is." So it's like. <laughs> Do you want to get going? Sure. Yeah. Okay. And Let's see your forehead. Like that. You could do a bit there. All right, babe. <laughs> Sorry. Well, while you're here, you might as well. What's that? Well, I said she could just do a little bit there. <laughs> I would. Can I put makeup on after this? Um, usually, I recommend you don't touch the area or you don't mm. put makeup on. Usually for about three to four hours. Oh, that's fine. The reason being is that most people's makeup is a petri dish. It's a powder stuff mm -hmm. so it's full of bacteria so I don't want this to yes. get infected okay so, yeah. so let's uh, just get you to frown first of all so I'm going to do a very light treatment for you okay, okay. so I have a, a, a sort of technique that I usually mark up before um, I do the treatment it's something I was brought up to do so to speak and it allows me to also have accuracy with what I'm doing. Will I still have a frown? Yes. Good. You'll still have movement. I still want him to know when he's in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you ready? As ready as I'll ever be, Doc. Okay. Just move this way towards me a little bit. I quite like a needle. Okay. <laughs> and then we're just going to do the last one. Any marks? So you can see there's a few little tiny red things and they'll be gone within 20 minutes. Okay, maybe. Tops. Yeah. Tops. By the time I get back to work. No, no bleeding. No, no bleeding, nothing. They're all men, they won't notice. All right. <laughs> there we go. Thank you very much, Doctor. All right. Nice to meet you. You're going to give me a ring if there's any problems. <coughs> How was that? It was awesome. I just had Botox. Um, he was really lovely. It's really nice in there. I can't feel a thing. I kind of like needles, which is weird. So that was great. And now I just want to see when it works.